presenting the amazing interplanetary adventures of Flash Gordon. These thrilling adventures come to you as they are pictured each Sunday in the Comic Weekly, the world's greatest pictorial supplement of humor and adventure. The big Comic Weekly, each page printed in full colors, is distributed everywhere as an integral part of your Hearst Sunday newspaper. For the benefit of those who may not have heard the earlier episode, Flash Gordon and Dale Arden were thrown onto the new planet Mongo. The two Americans were sent to the prison city of the Hawkmen. In a tournament of death, Flash Gordon wins the unconquered kingdom of the caves and sets out to subdue his domain. We now follow Flash Gordon in his conquest of the kingdom of the caves. Having picked up a company of King Voltan's Hawkmen, the huge rocket ship bearing Flash and Dale to their new kingdom heads for the yawning mouth of Kira, the wild and forbidding cave world. Following Ming's map and instructions, Captain Khan steers a course for the stronghold of Zug, chief of the cavemen. The ship leaves the gloom of the first cave and enters another, colossal in size and brilliantly lighted. They land and get out of the rocket ship. Well, Dale, we're here. What a huge cave. And look at all those little holes in the side. Those must be the dwellings of my subjects. A Khan. Is all my kingdom like this? I've never been inside before, Your Majesty. Nobody has ever explored this strange underground world. Look, men are coming out of those holes in the cliff. And what fierce-looking men. That powerful-looking red-headed giant must be their leader. We'll break the news to him, Your Majesty. Uh, me, do. Me, keep here. Why you come, huh? Bend your knee, O oh red-haired one. This is King Flash I, ruler of Kira, the cave world. By order of Ming the Merciless, Emperor of Mongo. No, no king. Me chief, me kill him. Look out, Flash. Drop that stone axe, you fool. Yeah. This is a ray pistol which can dissolve you into pieces. Wait, Khan. I'll not rule any man I can't beat in fair combat. <laughs> you stronger, you king. Thanks, Zug. I'll make you my right-hand man. Run, run for your life. He comes, Easter of men. What's the matter? Big lizard monster, eat men. Run for your lives. Khan, give me my signal gun. If that thing gets close enough, I'll shoot him. No, no shooting flash. Here go. Good work, Your Majesty. You have blinded him. There he goes. I don't think you'll ever be bothered by him again, Zoop. Oh, King. Me and my pride fight for you always. Fine. With the cavemen and the hawkmen, I'll conquer my kingdom. Flash Gordon leads his army of cliffmen and hawkmen into the immense caves which make up his kingdom. After progressing for a long time without seeing a living thing, he decides to take Dale and go on a scouting expedition. Walking through a cave of terrifying beauty, the two Americans are suddenly surprised by a band of lizard men. They drop from all sides, hurling stones. Flash is knocked out, and Dale's signal gun shrieks its siren as she fires bolt after bolt at the charging man beast. Back on the plane, Captain Khan and Zug leap to their feet as the wailing of Dale's signal gun reaches their ears. With the dashing, fearless Captain Khan at their head, the squad of Hawkmen come to the rescue. Dale! Dale! What has happened to His Majesty? Lizard men, they attacked us and knocked Flash out. I fought them off, but they took Flash and escaped through that crevice. It's blocked with a huge stone. Men, swing that quick firing gun into position. There. This way, Dale. Let us find His Majesty. Look! Blood! That means King Flash came this way. Lizard men don't bleed. This passage seems blocked up. We'll have to use the nitro gun. Wait. Let me squeeze through that opening. Right. Uh, How is it, uh, Dale? Yeah. Can you see the end? Uh, not yet. Now? I, I'm stuck, but I can see light ahead. Dale? Sir, darling, you're alive. I'm so glad. They'll have to get the cannon. I can't fudge this stone. Can you reach my signal gun? Uh, yes, I've got it. Thanks, Dale. Quiet. Here come the lizard men after me. In the meantime, in the castle of Azora, the witch queen of the blue magic men, Tall, the chief magician, calls the queen's attention to something he sees in the magic glass. Yeah, look, oh queen. Strangers to my cave. Fighting with the lizard men. 
see. They have blown down the stone and have conquered their opponents. They are free. They are coming this way. What a handsome blonde leader. Carl, we must go to welcome him. What's that, Carl? Huh? Why, the earth is tumbling. The walls are shaking. Look, the soldiers and Zook and the cavemen. They're bedded under an avalanche of stone. That weird light. What does it mean? Look, in the midst of the lurid flames, a woman. Greetings, strangers. Who are you? In the knee, O oh strangers, you are face to face with Azora, queen of the blue magic men. A queen? I am King Flash. I bend my knee to no one, man or woman. So, make him bow to me, Carl. Poison gas. He's, stra- he's strangling us. Oh, my don't worry, Dale. I'm... Uh, yeah. <laughs> Your spell is on them, old queen. See, they sink to the ground unconscious from the sleep gas. Yours is the power to bring them back, God. You the fool. You think he can pit his muscle against sleep gas. Have them carried to the gravity sled. We return to the castle. <laughs> Queen Azora, here are the three strangers laid out before you, still in deep slumber, from which only you have the power to bring them back. What is your pleasure? Ah, he... he is so handsome, so big, and strong. Carl, use the pull motor. Bring this one back to life. There. His eyelids quiver. A shudder runs through his body. The blonde youth is coming back to us. Oh. Oh. Don't, don't worry, Dale. I'm with you. I'm... Where, where am I? Oh, it's you. Yes. Are you so displeased with my appearance? Am I not beautiful to look upon? Dale. Dale. Save your breath. He cannot hear you. He cannot answer you. He is... Dead. No. Pale. You... You whip. You killed her. Yes, I killed her. You stand there and admit it. Why, I don't... Stop. I killed her as I killed you and your other companion. And I can bring her back as I brought you back to life. Then do it. At once. You are young and full of life. It would be a pity to put such a fine specimen of manhood to death. What are you talking about? One of you must die. It shall it be, you or the girl. You know there's only one answer to that. Ah, (laughs) the brave youth wishes to make the supreme sacrifice. Very noble, but very foolish. I have changed my mind. You shall live for me. And Dale, what will happen to her? If you promise to obey me forever, I will bring her back to life. Then I agree to your terms. Shall we seal our bargain with a drink? Very well. Carl? Here it is, O Queen. Take this cup, stranger. Drink to our love, fair haired youth. <coughs> you. You drug me. Yes. And now you are truly mine forever. I, I can't seem to remember. Where am I? Who are you? And who am I? Ah, do not worry, my soldier prince. I am your queen, Azura. Azura? Queer, I, I can't remember who I am. I had something... I had something to do. I had to save somebody. Sit back and relax. I must have been struck on the head during a battle. Forgive me for being so foggy. Oh, you are forgiven, my prince. Come with me. My mind is a blank as to my past. You mean you have forgotten everything? Even our love? All I know is that you are the most gorgeous woman I have ever seen. Ah, and that is what I have been waiting to hear you say. Listen, my handsome prince, I wish to test you. Look at those two figures suspended there. Do you know them? The man and the girl. Beautiful girl, too. I never saw them before in my life. Could I recognize them? Have I ever met them? One more test. Call the pull motor. Bring that man back to life. He is 
coming back, oh, Queen. Hmm. Why? Your Majesty. Where is Dale? Dale? Your Majesty? What are you talking about? He must be ill, Your Majesty. Don't you know me? Khan of the Hawkman. Azura, what's the man raving about? He is a war prisoner of ours. Crazy from wounds. Oh, then I quite understand. I forgive him. I am glad you are loyal to me, my queen. I always will be, my beautiful queen. Flash, Flash, listen to me. Quiet. Lie back, you. I warn you, it will take a thousand magic men to keep me in chains. I think not. <laughs> God! Find him with the electric manacle. Why, you, you. Silence, dog. I warn you, if you disobey, these manacles will become red hot and steal you to the bone. Take him to the kitchen. Oh, you oh. got flash. Flash. And now for the girl. Flash. Flash. Where are you? You shall see him. Get up. Come this way. Where am I? You are in the palace of Azure, the queen of the magic men. When I draw these curtains, you shall see your lover in the arms of his queen, Azura. Oh, Flash, how could you? Listen. Your kingdom is very beautiful, my darling. I think I would enjoy the sight of food more. I'm starved. Ah, forgive me, my prince. I was so interested in showing you the beauty of my palace, I'd forgotten about food. Come to the dining room. Oh, cook! Some food! Now, strange girl, come with me to the kitchen. You shall serve them. Saul takes Dale to the kitchen of the palace where she joins Khan, who is helping prepare the food. Oh, Dale, you're safe. Yes, Captain John. And I'm glad to find you safe, too. But Flash... Yes. Oh, Captain Tom, what has caused Flash to change so? I do not know. But he seems to be under some kind of spell. This queen is indeed a witch. One of you two, Whitson. Get to work. No, I won't. I won't do anything for her. You dare to rebel? And take this magnetic whip? Stop. Give me that whip or I'll break your neck. Burn him! Oh, John, oh. we'll kill you. Tell them you'll obey. Oh, for your sake, Dale, I surrender. I will obey. Good. Now, girl, take this plate of food into the queen and her new prince. Here, I will help you with the tray, Dale. Now, one taste of this acid on the food, and all of your magic won't save her. There. Now then, can you carry it? Yes. I shall take it in now. Ah, here comes the food. There's my prince. Her. The flash? Uh, I... Oh, you clumsy fool. Oh, don't you love me anymore, Flash? Love you? Oh, I don't even know you, girl. I will teach this unruly and clumsy servant girl obedience. God, give her the whip. What will happen to Dale Arden held in the clutches of the cruel witch queen Azura? See for yourself in full-colored pictures the terrifying situation that faces our friends. You'll find these pictures in next Sunday's Comic Weekly, which is distributed with your Hearst Sunday newspaper. And besides Flash Gordon, you will find all the other friends waiting to entertain you, bringing up Father, the Little King, Barney Google, good old Skippy, Jungle Jim, Polly and her pals, the Captain Jammer Kids, Sips and Casper, Way Out West, Tilly the Toiler, Mickey Mouse, and many others. Be sure you get the big, full-colored Comic Weekly with your Hearst newspaper next Sunday. And don't forget our date next week at this same time for another chapter in the amazing interplanetary adventures of Flash Gordon. Mm -hmm.